Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. I am disgusted, yeah. Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. The British public is being spoon-fed the wrong news by right. Romaniac lizards, and Rishi Sunak is doing nothing about well, it. Well, I wouldn't hold that against him, Colin. There's plenty of issues that Rishi Sunak's doing nothing about. Yesterday, so. right, we heard the dreadful news that schoolgirls are wearing trousers. Oh, and yet, no. on the same day, it came out that some nurses just happened to be using a food bank, right. and a water company had poured sewage directly into a nursery or something. Now, you tell me what the nation focuses attention on. Well, well, Typical bloody shit. Who's behind this, Colin? Who, who's controlling All this global Remainers. narrative? Remainers. All these Remainers yeah. stopping us focusing on what really matters. Yeah. The Remainers like Nick Clegg. Nick Clegg. He owns Facebook. He, He's it's... controlling the political narrative yeah, here. Yeah. Tell me, has Nick Clegg got shares in British schoolgirls' trousers? What other news story has been a deflection tactic uh, against the, the real matters? Ukraine? The war in Ukraine? Yeah. So, Marks and Spencer release their Easter eggs, and yet none of them say Easter. Yeah. And yet, on the exact same day, oh, Putin decides to march into Donbass or something, uh -huh. and the leftist BBC puts that top of the news at 10. So, Wake up, Anthony. That makes Putin a Remainer. So, so, so Putin yeah. and Nick Clegg, the, the strange bedfellows. So, who stops Putin and Nick Clegg if, if Rishi I'll, Sunak's I'll undercover? Who, I'll tell you who, Nadine Doris. She's our only hope. Yeah. You won't catch her wearing trousers. Anyway... Thanks for having me on, mate. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. She's a sleeper agent for Boris. We know he's insider. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. It's got to the point, right? It's yep. got to the point where you can't even be racist without being called a but racist. you're the least racist person you know, Colin. And I never once and never have will be racist. Mm. I'd like the freedom to be racist, if I want to be, without being called a racist. Well, it's the woke agenda, isn't it, Colin? Using accurate terms to describe people with. It should be banned. It's what everyone's thinking, though, isn't it? Silently. It's everyone's silently thinking racist things, are they? Silently. How do you yeah. know they are if they're being silent? Are you silently racist, Colin? Uh, well, I'm never quiet, so you can't accuse True. me of being yeah. silent. And if I did say I was silently racist, then you'd arrest me for being a racist. So that makes you, Colin, one of the 0.1% of the population who are neither vocally nor silently racist. And proud of it. But if I changed that and did the opposite, people like you shouldn't be allowed to call me one. Anyway, mm. mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Stop trying to silence me. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I am disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. Those photos are clearly fake, but they're being presented as actual news. What proof do you have that the photos are faked, Colin? Now, there's no proof, but my eyes told me, mm. didn't they? My eyes don't lie. You say my eyes are liars. Well, despite the conspiracies, Colin, uh, everyone has stressed that these photos are real. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? They want you to believe the truth. When actually, some of us would rather believe a different truth. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, Colin? I mean, you only tend to believe things you want to believe, i.e. things you like, and anything you don't like, you say is fake. Wait, yeah, and you've got a point there. But I'll tell you right. what, I've got a whole album of photos from my first wedding, right? I was uh -huh. just a lad back then. I had some very right. strange ways of looking at the world. Uh, I don't believe you for a second, Colin. I'm sure you were upstanding. Oh, yeah, I wasn't as worldly as I am mm. now. I chose to marry a complete uh -huh. wrong one. I didn't like her. So what I'm saying is, on paper, that wedding but, happened. Uh, yeah? You get me? Oh, how convenient. I've got an album full of wedding photos. Colin, are you saying that y your first wedding was fake? Totally, mate. It's exactly what I'm saying. It didn't happen. Whole thing was faked without my knowledge. I was there. I just didn't know I was there because it wasn't real. You get me? Anyway, thanks for having me on, mate. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Sometimes I know I'm not real. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. Here's a countdown conundrum for you, oh, Carol right, okay. Alderman. Yep. O K E W R I A O T. Another T. R. Give me a sec there, Colin. Just. Woke traitor. I've got ratio Ewok. Carol Alderman's not an Ewok. Ewoks are kind. Ewoks are trustworthy. Hey, what's on the right side of history? This is because Carol Vorderman has begun lifting the lid on the shady dealings in the Conservative Party, isn't it, Colin? Clever women from Countdown have been radicalised. Right. If it's not Carol Romaniac Vorderman, it's Susie bloody dead with her meanings of obscure words that just so happen to criticise Boris. We know what you're up to, Susie, and it's disgusting. Are you calling Countdown a daytime TV sleeper cell, Colin? I'm not being funny, mate, but I wouldn't be surprised if they find bomb-making material during the numbers round. Right. The elderly don't have a clue what they're watching. Well, no wonder Nadine Doris wanted Channel 4 privatised. It's a pandemic, Anthony. I'm telling you, Rishi Sunak, any woman who's good at anagrams, get their phone tapped. Richard Wiley did not die in vain for this. 
Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I haven't got a hard on. Right. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I am disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. We voted to leave so that we wouldn't have tomatoes, and now people are moaning about it. I thought you voted to leave so that you wouldn't have any more foreign people, Colin. Oh, I say tomatoes, you say foreign people. They're all immigrants. Mm. Look, we mm. wanted to stop them, and that's what we've done. Of course, I, Brian and Lineker don't see the benefits. What benefits are we talking about from Brexit exactly, Colin? More British things, more British foods like yeah. turnips, British mm. diseases like scurvy. And a bloody last, a return to the great British tradition of rationing. Mm. This is what we voted for, and Sunak is finally delivering. It's a bit woke, though, isn't it? Rationing. You know, everyone having the same amount, regardless of class or income, oh, Colin. you'd love it if rationing scarce foodstuffs and fuel made us a more equal society, wouldn't you? Mm. Any excuse to poison our perfectly good wartime fantasy with your pathetic ideas of social justice. I tell you, as soon as Deputy Prime Minister Lee Anderson brings back hanging... I'm having you done for treason. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Don't go too tight on that noose around my neck. <laughs> Bring back rickets. Oh, yeah, yeah. OK, Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I could weep, Anthony. I could truly weep here. Brexit is done. Proclaim it from the rooftops. Brexit is done. Well, it's done for another week, at least, Colin, yeah. Corbyn tried to thwart it, but Sunak held firm. Sunak with the assist of Boris slots it out. Well, isn't this Sunak cleaning up Boris's mess, Colin? Well, that's Boris, isn't it? That's, that's why he's a bloody legend. He right. can't be expected to do things properly, but that's why he gets things done. Well, except he didn't in this case, though, did he? He's, you wouldn't it... see Keir bloody Starmer messing something up, then fixing it a bit, and then claiming he's done a good job. Mm. You know, he agreed with something Corbyn said once. Yeah. Cannot be trusted, that man. But you know what disgusts me, Anthony? What absolutely disgusts me... What's that, Colin? Sunak says Northern Ireland are fortunate to have access to the single market. So why, yeah. why, why haven't we in Britain got that? It's a bloody outrage. This is the EU making us poorer and woke King Prince Charles is there letting it happen because he hasn't got the balls of Queen Anne. Well, that's the only way, Colin. I mean, well, that's what we voted for. The sooner Britain can enjoy the same freedoms Northern Ireland does, the better. I'm begging you, Rishi Sunak, working Northern Ireland magic on the rest of the bleeding country. Let's share the bloody wealth. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I'm not confused. No. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. Why, why, why are you trying to stop me from having an opinion? Well, I'm not trying to stop you having an opinion, Colin. I never do. So you have plenty of opinions on this show. Sometimes two contrasting opinions at once. And that's because we have a little thing called freedom of speech. Yes. Which we fought for and won during the war on Brexit. Well, Freedoms yeah. which the ECHR are trying to remove from exactly, us. Exactly, Colin. And that's why it's so important for everyone to have a voice. Except Gary bloody Lineker. Except Gary why Lineker. Why allowed to pipe up? He lost the argument in 2016, just like he lost the World Cup in 1990. Mm. Freedom does not extend to political prisoners. He should keep his crispy in gob out of it and keep stung like a proper footballer. Stick to football and stay out of politics if your opinion on politics is different from mine. We pay pundits on Match of the Day to be silent on social mm. issues. That's the contract they signed. Well, I don't know, Colin. I think maybe we'd have fixed the Northern Ireland protocol earlier if Dion Dublin and Danny Murphy had written a white paper on it, don't you think? Who would you rather trust to write the wrongs of our society? Gary Bloody Lineker or Lee Anderson? Mm. I know who I trust. Mm. It's simple, mm. Anthony. Freedom of speech is paramount. Unless it's someone I don't agree with. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I would like to hear Garth Crook's thoughts on an energy windfall tax, mind you. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. How was I your am weekend? Disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted with how Suella yeah. is being treated. She lost right. once outside a detention centre in Rwanda, and suddenly she's the bad guy. Well, it's an odd choice for a PR photo. That's it the only thing. It was When you zoom out and see other was, people yeah. laughing their heads off outside a detention centre, it suddenly looks a lot nicer. Well, it's how it's spun, isn't it, Colin? That's the thing exactly. with these. Exactly. Exactly. She was accused of being too serious. We're calling mm. everyone that doesn't sail with P and O a criminal. Then the moment she lets her hair down, she's labelled a sociopath. This is why the Guardian aren't allowed on these trips. 
They always moan, don't they? It's probably the stress, though, Colin. I mean, 46,000 people have arrived in this country in small boats in the last year, and Rwanda can only process a fraction of that amount. She's probably laughing at how pointless the whole endeavour oh, is. Oh, you'd love it if this plan was pointless, wouldn't you? Well, Look, she's clearly laughing at how great the decor is. Yeah. Listen, yeah. when I'm in home base and I find the right shade of paint... I laugh out loud in delight because it means I don't have to spend a single second more in bloody home base. True. Look, it's about time we all saw the lighter side of criminalising asylum seekers. If Suella laughed in the House of Commons while explaining her bill, maybe it'll make the whole thing a bit less terrifying. Laugh and the whole world laughs with you. Apart from those fleeing terror, of course. Of course. Anyway, yeah. mate, always a pleasure chatting to you. Thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. <laughs> No, no, you're right, mate. Life is weird. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. What's this, Anthony? What's this? I'll give right. you one guess. Good day, mate. Boy, boy, guilty. Kangaroo Court. Yeah, the most scandalous sound in British history. Mm. Boris stood tall against the Labour judge, jury and executioner, just like Nelson Mandela did. I can't wait to read Boris's book. The committee were majority conservative, Colin. The That's most your problem. Labour conservatives I've ever seen. You know who the true conservatives were, mm. not both Bernard Jenkins and Roy Walker and their gang of Remainers, catchphrase. but those who stood firm to intimidate a committee and threaten our increasingly fragile democracy. Well, Boris That's was who... bang to right, Colin. Now, come on! How was he supposed to know that the events he was witnessing with his own eyes were against the guidelines after telling us what those exact guidelines were every night? Mm. Hand on heart, he says, I didn't lie. And 25% of the time, this man doesn't lie. Well, his best defence was, I'm sorry, but I was completely incompetent and unfit for high office. And is that a crime? It's not his fault people voted for him. We mm. knew what he was like. He mm. got trapped in a zip wire. He rugby tackled a seven-year-old Japanese boy, for God's sake. Mm. Mm. We got exactly what we deserved. And you'd vote for him again, would you call him? Oh, yes. Oh, mm. yes, because he'll get Brexit done. Apart from the times he votes against it, like yesterday. And if he's suspended... He should just come back again anyway, like Suella did. It didn't harm her. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Then I think Doris is a bit of a sycophant, though. Right it in, lads. It's embarrassing. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I'm disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted with how they're treating Donald Trump. Oh, you're not taking news of his indictment well, Colin. If Donald Trump is found guilty for breaking the law, that means any one of us could be convicted if we did a crime. Well, it's a dangerous precedent for democracy, Anthony. Mm. These lefty lawyers are looking at the rule books and coming at anyone who does something wrong. Do you think it's political, Colin, prosecuting people who break the law? Of course it's political and it's yeah. terrifying. Mm. I would have fought in two world wars if I'd been born slightly earlier yeah, yeah. and I didn't have nearly fought in them for this. No. You know, Anthony, I'm glad we've cut right back on police in this country or we could be convicted for anything. Mm. Theft? Arson? Fraud? No, not fraud, no. Anthony. No. Thankfully, fraud conviction rates are going down. You've got to have some freedoms. I tell you what, you know who I feel sorry for? Who do you feel sorry for, Colin? I feel sorry for all those who supported him. Mm. When Michael Gove stood with him with his thumb up like he'd been allowed in the cockpit to have a picture with a pilot and all the other people who said he was great. I fear if Donald Trump is convicted, those people are going to look like right wallets. Mm. And whose fault is that? Lefty bloody lawyers, that's who. They should be locked up for even trying to lock him up. Anyway, Anthony, thanks for me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I fear for Piers Morgan reputation. I really do. Mm. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. You can add junior doctors to the list of enemies of this country. It's disgusting, Anthony. Yeah. Why, why, why aren't they happy with what they got? Well, we need to pay them fairly, Colin. Some of them are on £14 an hour. It's criminal. Oh, come on, being a doctor. I do that for free. Clues in the name, Anthony. Junior. No. These people are children. Why no. are we paying children anything, let alone 14 quid? They didn't pay junior chimney sweeps anything till Corbyn Well, got they're in. paid more in other countries, Colin. They're, they're going to leave. That's to... because in other countries, people aren't as healthy as us, so there's less to do here. Right. That's the advantage of being British. Mm -hmm. And we've made it impossible to get an appointment with a doctor anyway. True. So they shouldn't be treating people, even if they're not British enough to be healthy. Well, their wage has fallen by 26% in the last 14 years, Colin. Oh, That's my the problem. Heart bleeds. It... Where are we going to get that sort of cash from? Recovering money lost from fraud during a pandemic, cancelling well, HS2, reversing yeah. Brexit. We've That's... made these financial choices together and we won't see the benefits if everyone mm. wants to start getting paid fairly. When was the last time MPs got a pay rise? 
2022, it's risen by 26% since 2010, Colin. Well, that's value for money, isn't it? Yeah. Stephen Barkley, I'm begging you, stand up to these liberal lefty doctors. At least for another five weeks until you inevitably cave in. We did not vote you in to spread wealth equally. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Can I send you a photo of my tongue? My Google's not working. Uh, no. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, I Colin. I am disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. The King's coronation's coming up, which is supposed to be a joyous occasion, mm. but several times a day, the mere thought of it is making me physically sick. Well, patriotic sick is the best type of sick, Colin. Red, Meghan white and blue. bloody Markle. She's mm. going to swan in, slap William and Kate about the face with her sheer affronting presence, right. and lay a metaphorical Yankee turd at Camilla's feet. Well, Colin, I'll stop you there. You'll be pleased with this. She's not going. Meghan Markle's what? not going. She's not going, what? Colin. She said no after all they've done for her. Uh, she's blown the whole family a giant transatlantic raspberry there. And I bet Harry will make a documentary out of it and charge him for the royalties. Nah! Don't want to spat on the cat now. What? Thank you, Megan uh, Bloody What Marcus. do you want, Colin? I mean, she's damned if she does and she's damned if she doesn't. I want a Schrodinger's Markle, that's what I want. Right. Where it can never be truly known whether she's in or out of the coronation. You want her to be both simultaneously there and not there, Colin. That will yeah, make you is happy. Yeah, too mm. much to ask? It's the least you can do with all that taxpayer's money we've given her. Yeah. I'm begging you, do not make King Prince Charles cry on his big day by either turning up or not turning up. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the royal family. How do I delete my search history? Um, just you, Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello. I am disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. Yep. Portsmouth has been infiltrated by the enemy, which is ironic given his proud naval right, tradition. Right. This is the news that the Conservatives have, have, have lost a few council seats in Portsmouth. Is That's that right? terrifying, yeah. Anthony. It's hellish. Mm. I've barely dared leave the house. Portsmouth has become a Marxist hellhole. It's just a living nightmare. Well, it, it's awful. It's only been a couple of days, Colin. It's mainly Lib Dems, really. I I've... couldn't watch the coronation of King Prince Charles without fearing for my life. Right. How is a proud British man like me supposed to enjoy Penny Morden holding a sword in that, in that incredible dress, as is my right, without mm. the fear of Jeremy Corbyn smashing through my cat flap and making me wear a funny Russian hat? What's changed in the city, Colin? What, what's There's different food banks now? now. There's right. sewage pumping into the sea. No tomatoes. I can't get a bloody doctor's appointment. Everyone's mm. on strike. My local serving fosters on tap. Oh, and I'm not even allowed to bloody protest. I'm begging you, fellow citizens, vote Conservative next year and put a stop to this horror. Anyway, Anthony, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I've made a tape of Penny Morden to watch at night. Do you want to buy a copy? No. Former professional footballer turned current pundit Ian Five Ankles is not happy with how King Charles is celebrating this coronation. Ian. Oh, it's embarrassing, Anthony. I mean, look at Charles holding the crown aloft. He's celebrating as if he's won something. What's he won? What's he actually won? Well, he's won the kingdom, Ian. He's beaten 60 million other sperm to lift this title. That shows grit and determination from a top, 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 top world-class monarch, Ian. No, he's come into the role given to him by Elizabeth II, like David Moyes after Sir Alex Ferguson. This country should prepare itself for a decade of underachievement because if we're sticking someone in a gold chair without them even having a Carabao Cup to their name, then I'm sorry, but the game's gone. Well, let's bring in somebody who's an expert at looking successful without actually winning any any trophies. Harry Kane. Yeah, no, it's good to be here, Anthony. Nice to speak to you, Harry. Uh, how would you advise King Charles look successful without actually picking up any trophies? Two words, Anthony. Audi mm. Cup. The lad needs to go away in pre-season and beat an understrength Bayern Munich side on penalties. Win over the fan base mm. from day one. Well, British people are basically Spurs fans, aren't they, Harry? They, they're they happy with the resemblance of success, even if it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Exactly. King Charles needs to say calendar year a lot. Mm. You know, do more things than any other monarch in a calendar year. That's made me a hero at my club, and it can make him a hero at his. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, I knew Colin. the French were behind this. French were behind what, Colin? Legionnaire's disease. A French illness. Right. They planted French bacteria on a British boat holding asylum seekers because okay. they can't bear the fact that we got Brexit done. Lee Anderson was right when he said migrants should F off back to France. Mm. He should have said it about French lung infections and all. That would be two groups effing off to a place they're not from, Colin. We cannot deal with small boats if the microbes are against us. No, Woke no. bloody molecules. 
I tell you, Anthony, I don't know if we should be worried about diseases when housing people fleeing from war zones. Well, Colin, if we I mean, start just... worrying about that, we'll have to start worrying about the terrible conditions we let landlords keep their flats in, threatening yeah. the health of the poorest in society. Yes. We'll have to start worrying about the lack of housing and mental health services we provide for our armed service veterans. Absolutely, we'll Colin. We'll have yeah. to start worrying about the fact that we dangerously undernourish four million children in this country. Colin, you've hit the nail on the head. I think you've struck something here. I'm Colin, what are you going to say you, about Mr. that? Shunak, I'm begging you, yes. send that Legionnaire's disease back to France and right. send them the message that we will never surrender. OK. Anyway, I've had a lovely time. Thanks for having me on. Love, love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Shuel has gone quiet. I hope the French haven't got her too. Wow. Well, Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello. I am sick of all these woke people ruining this country. Who are the woke people, Colin? Who are Who they? Who are the woke people? People, yeah. you know full well who the woke people are. I've got a list right here. You've got a list? Yeah. The Guardian. Right. Pronouns, the lawyers, mm -hmm. teachers, doctors, nurses, the EU, the NHS, the church, the British Army nowadays, the oh. BBC, Match of the Day, yeah. Gary Bloody Lineker, oh. James O'Bleeding Bryant, Disney, Pride, police cars with inclusive signage, Hollywood, the city of Liverpool, the city North of... London townhouses, Jordan Henderson, pre-2023, yeah. the National Trust, Almond Milk, modern historians, remote working, places where people feel safe, the weather, children's books, the England cricket team, the menopause, Banksy, Coots Bank, breastfeeding, butterflies, people who want to be paid a living wage, right. people who think their children should eat, yeah. Universities, mm. secondary schools, nursery schools, being able to swim in UK waters, yeah. kettle chips, Valentine's Day, King Prince Charles, David Attenborough, Professor Brian Cox and the laws of physics, guide dogs, theatre with a live sign language person at the side of the stage. Oh, yeah, agreed. Immigration centres that put pictures on their walls, Sadi Khan, International Women's Day, the RNLI, croissants. People who read stories while wearing women's clothes. Mm. Every one of those is a threat to Western civilization. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Avocados! Yep. Colin is in Portsmouth. Why? 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 Colin, how was oh, the Barbie movie? Oh, it was a riotous candy colour kind of feminist fable, Anthony. Right, But that's good. not the point. Why, yeah. why, why are the left wet in the bed about climate change oh, when the God. British people have proved we don't care about well, it. I think it's a bit strong to say that British people don't care about climate change, Richard Colin. Richard Sunak and Keir Starmer are absolutely right to row back on saving humanity from the edge of the fiery precipice. Thank God 450 people didn't vote Labour in Uxbridge or all these anti-growth carbon neutral policies would have plagued this great nation. Wow. The people have spoken, just like Brexit, except this time it's polar bears. The ice cap's lost. Get over it. But Colin, there's there's islands in Greece that are literally on fire. And the it's... weather here has been a bit miserable for July. Mm. I'm sorry, but I'm with the commentators whose thoughts coincidentally align with me on every single subject on this one. If right. I'm not personally affected, then I'm not changing. Well, British people are affected, Colin. They're, they've been evacuated from hotels. They're fleeing for their lives. They're and, in danger. And, Anthony, they're being treated with dignity and compassion by the locals. What on earth is the problem? Mm. Exactly the opposite of how we treat people fleeing from danger here. That's why we should keep up our selfish lifestyles. Because even when we get into a pickle, we still land on our feet because we're British. Well. And as long as that stays the case, that foreigners treat us with the respect we deserve, without us actually deserving it, we should continue our merry, pledge-diluting way without care in the world. Thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Are you holidaying in the UK then this summer? Oh, no chance. No, you've seen how crowded our sewage-ridden beaches are. You must be mad. But yeah. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, I Colin. I could weep, Anthony. I really could. Mm. You know me. I don't like to exaggerate. No. But in losing two more Conservative MPs, this country is circling the plug hole of hell itself. This is the news that the Tories have lost two out of three by-elections, Colin. You know, both of those winning candidates agreed with Jeremy Corbyn or something. Well, one of them's a Lib Dem, Colin. Oh, they like boats full of refugees, do they? Well, right. don't be surprised if the boats rock up on the shores of Somerset and Froome mm. and Selby now that the only people defending them have been removed. You have been warned. Well, they did win Uxbridge, the Tories, only darling. because 
half the voters there hate clean air. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm sorry. Rishi Sunak did everything he could to win the vote. He complained about Nigel Farage losing a billionaire's bank account. Mm. His colleagues said the Taliban weren't so bad after all. But no, nothing. Well, the Conservatives are the victims here. Is that what you're of saying? Of course we are. Yeah. Of course we are. And we're being marginalised by the so-called tolerant left. Mm. I'm sorry. But Sunak's got to go. Sunak's got to go. Who who would replace him now, Colin? N- this... Nadine Doris. Nadine Doris. She's the only one with the balls. She's bravely stayed in Parliament despite calls from herself to stand down. Mm. But she's not for turning. Her as PM, channeled by Boris Johnson. Channeled by Boris Johnson. He's gone, Colin. Yeah. He's out of I Parliament. I want him sneaking back into Parliament in a laundry basket like Jose Mourinho did in the Champions right. League, barking yep. orders at Nance through an earpiece. He's the puppet master. I want his hand up her, as I know he's capable of. It's our one chance to save this country or we'll all be murdered in our own beds. Anyway, Mm. Anthony, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. You up to anything nice in prison today? Yeah, I might watch the Barbie film with the lads. Yeah. Nice. Have a, have a good one. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, I'm Colin. I'm shocked, Anthony. There's no other word for it. I've never oh. heard of this newspaper making something up to suit an agenda before. Well, Colin, I don't know what's happening, but I didn't see it coming. If that paper has been mistruthed in, then mm. it'll change my perception on everything, and I'm not going to do that. If, it's disgusting. If it's, I agree with you, Colin. I, for once, I why, agree. It's disgusting. Why, why can't a national newspaper make up a story driven by an obsessive anti-BBC agenda with no care about the impact on a young man or the presenters mm. without the left wetting the bed about well, it? Well, I don't think the left's got anything to do with it for oh, once, you Colin. you love it, you... don't you, that they've been careless with the facts for once in their illustrious existence. Yep. First you banned page three, and now you criticise honest media moguls for one slight misstep. Will you not think of those poor journalist careers? Well, well what about the journalists on the other side, Colin? Well, what about their won, careers? They? They've won by they've won. being baselessly outed on social media and having their reputations besmirched by concerned citizens who just want someone to notice them. Mm. They can sue for defamation and earn thousands. Well, This yeah. is why auntie stars are overpaid. Well, and the newspaper won't get sued for doing exactly the same thing, Colin. Exactly. Yeah. It's one right. rule for giant media corporations with an axe to grind and another for 50-year-old men who live in their mum's basement. Mm. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I tell you what, I just saw something about Boris Johnson's WhatsApp yesterday. Mm. It's probably not important, though. Yeah, I, I think it's nothing. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. I am disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. Why, why, Colin, did why? I see you at Summer Fate the other week? I was on day release and it was awful. Right. Why, why, why are teachers striking during school term time? Well, because that's when they work, Colin. Well, why but... can't they do it during the summer holidays when it causes <laughs> minimum disruption? They have six weeks off when they're standing their backsides mm. and writing love letters to Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn. You know Keir Starmer agreed mm. with Corbyn once. Yeah. He wants to nationalise children. Colin, if Father Christmas weren't getting paid enough and wanted to strike, he wouldn't do it in June, would he? He'd do it on of Christmas Eve. Of course he wouldn't. He's Labour. Right, right. Father Christmas is Labour, is he? Oh, don't be naive. Look, he wears red. He gives things away with no concept of how to cost them. Mm. He seizes the means of production on Christmas Eve to poison our kids' minds right. with woke messages of goodwill. He's a woke tofu eating much. Well, well, the Conservatives seem to be on strike, Colin. I mean, Rishi Sunak not turning up to PMQs. Leif Anderson forgetting to join a fringe faction he created himself. They're on strike because they got Brexit done. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I understood, They yeah. didn't go on strike before Brexit, did mm. they? No. Because there was work to do. Mm. But now it's done, they can just sit on their own TV shows making others eat cat food or resign as an MP without actually resigning. Anything except actually running the country. Teachers, learn from the Tories. Go on strike. When not being there doesn't affect anyone. Mm. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I've been giving mid pies to Joseph bloody Stalin all these years. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I don't mind them doing it as long as they don't force it down my throat. Uh, Are you still in prison, Colin? Yes, I am. And I'm having a lovely time and that's a disgrace. Anyway, why is this Pride Month? Why have the socialist perverted EU made June gay? Our children meant to enjoy June now. This is exactly what Nick Clegg wanted. Well, I I don't think the EU were in charge of Pride, Colin. Oh, don't be so naive. Homosexuality was invented in Greece. 
Right, They've come yeah. from Europe to make our culture more vibrant, and that's why I and millions of others voted to leave. Mm, mm. How's your boycott going of all the corporations that have put a rainbow in their logo, Colin? I'm not buying anything from a company that openly shows its tolerance towards a marginalised community until mm. the month ends, and then they go and forget about that community for the rest of the year. I've, and don't yep, get yep. me started on drag artists. Wow, they're brilliant, aren't they, drag artists? Wonderful. Absolutely yes. wonderful, imaginative, charismatic, mm -hmm. it's an art form. I'll tell yeah. you what, I'll defend British pantomime to the end, but not when they're in public libraries telling stories. No, Not having no. that, that's a left-wing affliction. Uh, uh, Colin, are you saying that no Tory is LGBTQ+. No, of course they are, but yeah. they do it the good old-fashioned way. At midnight, in a bush on Clapham Common, while mm. loading themselves. Mm. I'll tell you, we lived for a hundred years like that in repressed self-disgust. That is the British way. That's yeah. how it should be. And I'm begging you, Rishi Sunak, pull your finger out and restore out our great British anti-pride. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. You can't spell diverse without... Ugh. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. Why, why, why are people booting an honest man out of the door again? This is Boris Johnson, isn't it, Colin, again? For the last time, Anthony, he had a bit of cake while people couldn't have cake at their own relatives' funerals. Yeah. It's also overblown. Mm. And now we can't even give knighthoods and damehoods to the people who stood by him. Mm. Nadine Doris, the stuff oh. she did for him, it will make your eyes water. She worked harder than an NHS nurse on him, and now she's been cast aside like a crinkled tissue. It's disgusting. Mm. Just because mm. she's thick as snot, that shouldn't be a reason to exclude her from a position of even greater power. Well, others are thick as snot, and they, and they got through. Some people did manage to sneak through Rishi Sunak's net, Colin. So Jacob Rees-Mogg, thank yeah. God he did. That man's yeah. been fighting against the elites for years. Mm. It's about time one of us got some status. What about some of his uh, his special advisors? There's one that's 29 years old. People think she might be his daughter or something, People Colin. say he don't care for his 15 children. Well, that's love right there. Mm. He should be applauded. My mm. father of the mm. year. And if she's not his daughter, well, her qualifications speak for themselves. Yeah. And his yeah. hairdresser getting an OBE. Right. Having to deal with his hair, she deserves nothing less. Honestly, Colin, I mean, you're saying it, but it, it's pretty much an utter disgrace that he's got to be given any honours at all, a isn't disgrace? it, Colin? Well, you should wait till Liz trusts others. Wow. This is a cakewalking comparison. Just wait until Liz gives Quasi Quarting a knighthood for his services to mortgage rates. Mm. All his hard work to keep bailiffs in business will finally be rewarded. Anyway, yeah. mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. I gave my daughter Tesco club card points in my name. Is that a crime? Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I feel just like Nelson Mandela, Anthony. Just like Are him. you still in prison, Colin? It's been like... You bet I am. You bet. I, they sentenced me for 24 hours. Uh, I told them that was pathetic mm. and demanded longer. Okay. This country, Anthony, I tell you, is far too lenient. Yeah. You know, mm. I've got a colour TV in here. It's like a holiday camp. Mm. I'm having a lovely time. It's disgusting. Nelson Mandela, Colin, led his country after leaving prison. Could you do the same? Could I'd you do be the same? better than that spineless Sunak, yeah. Anthony. Mm. And what talent is there after that? Rosie Holt, MP. Don't make me laugh. Okay, it's well, not even real. Let's test your credentials then, Colin. As, as a potential leader, uh, I'm a blue wall voter. What's your stance on Brexit? Brexit was a terrible idea, but we can't go back. We just have to struggle on. Perfect. Okay, now I'm a red wall voter, Colin. Brexit was a great idea. We're not going back. We'll patriotically struggle on. Brilliant. Okay, the acid test. I'm Scottish, Colin. Ah! Well done, Colin. You've got what it takes to be the next Tory leader. That's it's excellent. Easy, Anthony. You just tell different parts of the country what they want to hear yeah. and hope they don't talk to each other. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the Love family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Scotland is Britain's version of Cuba. Oi, yeah. turn that TV off and get that paddling pool out of here. Is that a dog barking? Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Why, Hello, why, Colin. Why, why? Wait, wait, Colin, wait, wait. I thought you'd been arrested for thinking about protesting. I have, yeah. They've allowed right. me a phone call. Okay. All right. You go ahead, Colin. Why, why, why are we such a nation of complainers? The mm. water companies have offered to stop pouring sewage into our children's paddling pools, but yep. oh no, we'd rather be Therese Coffee, Britain's Churchill. 
over the head with a faeces written stick than have her and the water company save our lives. You said you swam in sewage as a kid, Colin, and it didn't do you any harm. I gargled so sewage as a boy. There yeah. wasn't a bit of waterway that couldn't be improved by a million cubic tons of human excrement. And it was mm. tons in those days, not litres. Not litres, not litres. It shaped me and a generation of conservatives. Me, Damien Green, Matt Letizia. But, but the water companies want us to pay them to fix it. Seems well, that's typically you lefty Ramonas, isn't it? You don't want anyone to make a profit in your socialist utopia. Where's the money coming from? Well, well the, from the obscene profits they've taken from us already, Colin. And that's the, why for doing we their left job. the EU. So the honest companies can free themselves from Stalin's shackles of regulation mm. and let us pay twice for a service if they feel it's right. Jacob rees you crack on, fella. Let them pay twice and rid ourselves of the skid mark of the anti-growth coalition once and for all. Mm. Clean water is not a basic human right. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Other thing I wanted to say. Can you get me a lawyer? Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've never heard you so cross, Colin. What's it's happening? It's woke King Prince Ruddy Giles. Oh, Why yeah. does he have to keep saying stuff? Mm. He and the Archbishop of Canterbury going on about the migration bill and climate change. It's disgusting. What are they, politicians? I thought we loved our king, though, Colin. Didn't we just have a big celebration for him? Oh, God save the king cross my heart. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But not on the things I don't agree with. Mm. We gave him all that and now he thinks he can do what he likes. Honestly, you put it finally out on someone and it goes to their end. Well, he's our monarch, Colin. And he speaks for the nation, you Not see. if it's against the will of the people. Right. It's Queen Princess Camilla Concord, I feel Concord. for. He's leading her astray. Yeah. She'll be demanding a windfall tax on energy companies. And before you know it, we'll all be speaking Belgian. What's the difference between the will of the people and the will of the nation? They seem quite similar. Oh, they're very different. Right. For a start, you only need about 35% of the people to have their will. Mm. And I'm surprised by the Archbishop of Canterbury. I know we proclaimed you the mouthpiece of God, mate. But you don't have to relay everything mm. God's saying. Mm. Especially the bit about showing compassion for the less fortunate. Give us the bits we want to hear. What are you going to do then, Colin? You can't vote out the monarchy, I'm afraid. And that's a shame, yeah. it really is. Mm. I'd protest if it weren't whoa, illegal. Whoa, 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 Colin. You just expressed the wish to protest. You can't, That's illegal. You can get arrested for that. Oh, uh, well, it's a fair cop, Anthony. Yeah, come and arrest me, Scotland Yard. <sighs> fair dues. This is the last time you'll hear from me, Anthony. I'll tell you what, it's been a pleasure to talk over the years and love to the family. Love to the family, Colin, love to the family. If they do send someone to arrest me, can they send Penny Morden? I yeah. think that might soften the blow. Yeah, show them your video. It's worn out. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin, Anthony, how are you? Yes, Anthony, yes. I thought that Rishi Sunak was just pulling a desperate U-turn to appease those in his party who still like Liz Truss mm. and the 800 people in Uxbridge who want more kids to have asthma. That's right, but don't no, forget them. He's changing everything. Mm, I know, he's saving the planet, Colin, just a little bit slower. Look at the things he stopped. We nearly had yeah. seven bins, one of them just oh. for wallpaper. Bonkers. I know, I know. We nearly had a meat tax. Vegans were going to get tax breaks. Labour mm. wanted a wind farm in every bedroom. He scrapped that. Ceilings were to be lowered in every building. Scrapped. <sighs> Driving on the opposite side of the road every Sunday. Scrapped. Yep. Bouncy castles to become listed buildings. Scrapped. Every National Trust property to have a trance room. Scrapped. Doctors mm. to cut your testicles at every single appointment. Scrapped. <sighs> Deadline them to take over the post office. Scrapped. Yep. Renaming the points of the compass to commemorate powerful women in history. Scrapped. Pathetic. Folding up second homes when you're not using them. Scrapped. Yep. Night dogs to wear roller skates. Scrapped. Mm. Greek Orthodox dimmer switches. Scrapped. Compulsory car sharing with someone who's appeared in condone with me. Yep. Scrapped. Bill Gates to put your gran in a headlock. Scrapped. <sighs> What's Keir Starmer doing, Anthony? What's he doing? He's What's he doing? At the wheel. There's only one man saving this country, and it's Seven Bid Sunak. Absolutely. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Whoever was in charge for the last 13 years nearly made it a right mess. Oh, gosh, yeah. What a lucky escape. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. How are you doing? I am begging Rishi Sunak. Call a general mm. election now, for crying out loud. Why, Colin? Why, why, why would he call one now? Because if he calls a general election now, his party's got a good chance of coming second. Oh, right. Well, is second an achievement? It will be for this shower. Well, What's true, his big yeah. ideas for next year? Make HS2 a slower journey than the one it's replacing, all for the bargain price of bulldozing through ten Tory constituencies en route. Well, And waiting enough, an extra yeah. five years to get rid of polluting cars. Terrifying. Actually, I mm. don't mind that one. Why should they be banned? Last week, 
it was chilly outside, for God's sake. Well, Colin, you know, putting children in porter cabins instead of schools might be the vote winner he's promising it to be. Uh, they don't seem to prefer it. Well, they do, but I, I don't think they'll come third, Colin, not in oh, this system. Oh, don't be naive, Anthony. Right. The Lib Dems' whole strategy is to point at the Tories and say, oh, they're a bit daft. Mm. It's masterful. It is, I'm it telling is. you now, Rish, call it now or you'll be behind the Lib Dems, the Greens, Count Binface and the SNP mm. and that dolphin who beat Nigel Farage, who, to be fair, has some decent ideas on tuna. And reform, Colin. Let's no, not forget about... No, no, not having that. I won't go that far, Anthony. No, let's true. not... Let's not muck about here. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Are you still in prison? Yeah. I'm the Pompey Mandela. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. We're living in very dangerous times, Anthony. It's chilling. It's terrifying. Right. How's that, Colin? An increasing number of influential online personalities that I've based my entire world view around mm. have been revealed to be absolute wrong ones. Yes, that is rather unfortunate. Has it stopped and made you think, Colin? Oh, there's no chance of that, Anthony. No, no. if no. anything, it's reinforced my beliefs mm. and the beliefs of a million other completely real people who pay Elon Musk eight quid a month to have 756 followers. Yeah, I thought as much, Colin. I thought it's as much. It's a bit convenient, isn't it, that all this comes out at the exact moment that Sadiq Khan expands ULES around Greater London and right. the Welsh Government introduces 20 mile an hour as the default speed limit in residential areas. Mm. It's convenient, mm. isn't it? Mm. Oh, we've all stopped talking about them now. What a coincidence. Colin. There's shadowy games being played here, I'm telling you. Some of the people you talk about being exposed as wrong ones aren't even from the UK. And that's they, they've never been to this country. in a nutshell. Wake right, up, I for see. goodness sake. Yeah, Thank gotcha. God these heroes still have their huge platforms hosted by billion dollar tech companies so mm. that they can keep fighting against the mainstream media. Mm. Remember the poem. First they came for the communists and I said nothing. Yeah. Because I thought it was a great idea because I hate communists. And right. then they came for people who were historically a bit dodgy. And I can't remember the point of the poem, but you get the gist. No. And that's how powerful that poem is. It is, it is. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. If Channel 4 had been privatised, this would never have happened. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. Oh, bless you, Colin. Are you this country's media is biased against the Tories. Biased? Biased? Biased against the Tories? Oh, don't be naive, Anthony. We all know how it works. Name right. me one pro-Tory media outlet in this communist hellhole. Uh, uh, the Daily Mail? OK, the Daily Mail. The Mail on Sunday? The Express? Apart from them! The Sunday Express? The Sun? The Sun on Sunday? The Times? The Sunday Times? The Daily Telegraph? It's basically a comic book. The Sunday Telegraph? Stop so putting it's... Sunday before them all. They're the right, same thing. Enough. The place mm. isn't suddenly painted red because the staff get time and half. The Financial Times, arguably. Back Neil Kinnock in 1992. Apart from never forget. Okay, the Evening Standard, the Spectator. Just. I'll run out of steam, have you, Anthony? Well, After just a few examples. Yeah, well, apart from those, you can't name a single pro conservative outlet. GB News? I said British. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you something, Anthony. Can you imagine if Rishi Sunak didn't have those papers batting for him? Yeah. His party would really be in trouble. Mm. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the Love family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. The BBC gets a bit Tory sometimes, to be fair. Yeah. Especially question time. It's well. embarrassing. Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. Why, why, why are kids these days says bloody snow? Oh, break. yeah, this is the news that school children are afraid to go into school lest the building actually collapse on their heads. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. Only for kids to be worried about a bit of plaster. Yeah. These schools are fine for my generation. Well, building standards in your generation were clearly better. These are the building standards, oh, aren't they? Best yeah. in the world. Yeah. Everlasting. Yeah. Or 30 to 40 years, whichever case sooner. Absolutely. Listen. We had lead paint and asbestos, and it didn't do us any it harm. It didn't, and I can tell, and, and that's a we testament to We used to sit to on the grass to have lessons on a nice day. Yeah. Why aren't they doing that? Mm. I thought they believed in global warming. Mm. But no, they want to blame the government. Well, it's not Rishi Sunak's fault, is it? No. Well, How was he supposed to know that buildings would disintegrate now and not in a year's time when Labour are going to be in charge? And as for Gillian McKeith... Well, Gillian should... Keegan. Whatever. Yeah. She should be thanked for what she's done. I don't know what she's done no. exactly, but she should be thanked for it. Mm. Thanks to her, bad A-level results are the least of these kids' worries. She's taught them a valuable lesson in perspective. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, mate. Thanks for having me on. Love to the Love family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Why doesn't anyone ever f***ing thank me? You're on air still, Colin. I know!
Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. I could weep, Anthony. I really could. Yeah. I was looking at my favourite Facebook page, old footage from yesteryear, oh. and there was some gorgeous old video from London in 1927. Oh, I love those, Colin. Always interesting to see the nostalgia. Yeah, and I agreed with every single comment underneath mm. that pedos should be hanged. Right, not not sure I see the link there, Colin. No, for the better days, mate. Oh, yeah, they were the better days. The brief period of respite between two of the deadliest wars in human history. Which Abs- I trade for one street, just one. One street without immigrants. Yes. Uh, well, well, there were immigrants back then. You know, there were Irish immigrants, Colin. You know the ones I mean. Yes, I do. Tell yes. me, what prevents us from building buildings like what the Victorians did? Well, I think it might be the riches plundered from exploiting other countries combined with inhumanely low wages. Now we're talking about the British Museum again. I am. Look, yeah. foreign people should be grateful we're keeping their items. Mm. Otherwise, they'd only lose them. Mm. And they can see them whenever they like. It's free, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. Look, all I'm saying is those were the days when you had everything in your local area. You could walk. Oh, absolutely. It would be great, wouldn't it, if we could return to the days when everything was within 15 minutes walk, Colin? Oh, don't yeah. you try and make me have everything I need within 15 minutes. No. What are you, Stalin? Mm. Next you'll be rationing my food like the government did in those videos of London I want to return to. That's the trouble with this country. Yeah. Something entirely innocent is made toxic to suit a political agenda. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Not one immigrant built the pyramids. Stick that in your pipe, Soros. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. It's a dark day for humanity, mate. They say every time you clap your hands, a fairy dies. Do they say that? And today, the woke karate anti-growth far-left coalition, including lawyers, the police and Rishi Blumen Sunak, have clapped their hands in unison and extinguished Brave Suella. Well, getting fired is a lifestyle choice, Colin. I you can't weep, deny- Anthony, if weeping mm. weren't such a sign of liberal weakness. Well, writing that article did seem to be the straw that broke the camel's back. And that's the problem with camels these days. They're spineless. Mm. It's not Suella's fault that she conducts policy over the newspapers instead of in the House of Commons. Is that a sackable offence? Well, also, her chief idea, the Rwanda scheme, seemed completely unworkable. Unworkable? What's the matter with unworkable? Brexit was unworkable, but you didn't see anyone get fired over that. They all got made lords, apart from Farage, who got an ITV gig for over a million quid. Mm. He could probably join Coots again. Well, he can. Suella, whatever you do next, the nation is right behind you. Wow. Whether it's leader of the Conservatives or a GB News show, whatever requires fewer votes. The yes. future of our country is at stake. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Oh, David Cameron's got Foreign Secretary. Well, good. He knows the club. It's in his DNA. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, I Colin. I disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely oh, disgusted. Oh, hold your thought, Colin. Hold your thought. Some breaking news has just come in. Oh, my goodness. Have you seen it, Colin? Oh, uh... Well, uh, hold on, I've just seen it now. Yeah, OK, let's get your opinion on that. Forget what you rang in for. This is this what? is what we need. My opinion on that? Y- yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, what's everyone else saying? What, what, everyone else? Everyone else, it's just happened, Colin. You're the first person in the world to have an opinion on it. Let's have your oh, opinion, come on. Colin. Someone must have said something. Oh, well, well so, someone has just tweeted with a blue tick and seven followers. Have they got a column? Have they got a column? A column, yeah, a Colin? Column. A column or a show on a reputable news channel. I'm talking GB or Talk TV. Anything that rhymes with E. But not the BBC. No, they've got seven followers. They're just, they've paid for Twitter. Oh, no. Oh, oh wait. Um, Archibald Toffley West has just written a diatribe. Who the hell is he? Well, he, he's one of those young conservatives who get their opinions from a think tank group chat all at the start of the day. Mate, he's 11 years old. Well, That's I... some decorum. All right. Give me someone I'll... with authority. Either side of the divide, I can hang Just my house. scrolling through, Colin. Uh, uh, John Cleese says it's the end of Western civilization as we know Why it. Why is his opinion remotely relevant? I've got no I idea. I want listen, John. I want Hitchens. Uh, push, I'll take aim at home. Oh, James O'Brien's just tweeted. James O'Brien. Right, smashing. I'll take the opposite view. Uh, he says it's a complex issue. A complex issue? What am I supposed to do uh, with that? Uh, Jeremy Clarkson's liked his tweet, Colin. I've got no idea. Well, that just proves it, Anthony. I think this is a lesson. Right. When something happens, we shouldn't be too quick to have a hot take. Mm. We should wait for the full story before we form an opinion. Uh, Suella Braverman's just tweeted they should be hanged. And throw away the key. 
Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Thank goodness. Ah, she will have brother, man. I'm going to miss her when she becomes irrelevant. Yeah, the police won't, though, will they? Colin is in Portsmouth. Hello, Colin. Do you know who the real villain is in all this? It's Gary Lineker, isn't it? Gary yeah. bloody Lineker. He yeah. thinks they're fascists. Mm. He's treated poor Suella like a common crook. This well, is the 40th attempt by the Conservatives to stop people coming into this country, and they've really got it right this time. This is the bill to criminalise people coming in via small boats, isn't people it, Colin? People persecuted by war, fleeing terror. They'll think twice about fleeing that terror if they realise mm. they might get a criminal record here. And maybe even a fixed penalty notice. Well, there's a large possibility that it will break international law, Colin. How can we break international law when we're the most moral country on the planet? Yeah. And if we have to break the law, then it's worth it to make a law which says that those refugees are breaking the law. We'll come down hard on them. Tough on those who break the law. Apart from on ourselves. Well, then we'll arrest ourselves to set an example, won't we? Yeah. So mm. and Jonathan Gullis could deport themselves to Rwanda, showing that that's not such a bad place to live. Asylum seekers will flock there instead, and it will solve the crisis overnight. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Well, let's ban the Oxford Cambridge small boat race. Oh, now there's a policy I can agree with. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. You can't How even you doing? Merry Christmas anymore, Anthony. Mm. It's disgusting. Absolutely yeah. disgusting. You said this last year, Colin, and, and the year before even that. Even more true this year. Not that yeah. the police will even arrest you for it because they've gone all woke and mm. against the silent majority. And by silent, I mean loud. And by majority, I mean the 172,000 mm. members of the Conservative Party. Y you said last year that Christmas adverts were all foreign. Is it the same this year, Colin, it's with worse. all the ones you've watched? It's yeah. worse. I don't want people having different Christmas experiences, but mm. I don't want it forced down my throat. With, no, technolo with technology advancing, how long is it going to be until I turn on an advert for Sainsbury's and a mixed-race couple climbs through my television screen into my living room and forces right. me to watch their trans sister urinate in my bathroom? Yeah, that one I'd... Richie Sudak met Elon Musk. What are they planning? Uh, it's the blob, Colin. It's the blob. They've infiltrated the UK with the woke Christmas mind virus. We know all the good people are on our side. Lee yeah. Anderson feeding the poor with 30 pence coins. Just like Jesus did. Boris Johnson sitting women on his lap like Father Christmas. Mm. Nadine reading us all a fantasy story from her new book. And yes. sweet, sweet Liz Truss reminding us of the decent British values of putting a stocking under the chimney. Chimneys we used to own before the mortgage rates went up and we couldn't afford our houses anymore. Right, These yes. are the traditions you will destroy by voting Labour. This is the last Christmas under a Tory government. If that doesn't put the fear of God up you, I don't know what will. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Merry Christmas. I can't even sing carols without thinking of Fordham. She's poisoned mm. my mind. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, I am Colin. disgusted, Anthony. Absolutely disgusted. What's happened this time, Colin? You sound crimson. My grandson's primary school are doing their nativity play, right? Yep. They're having a pregnant migrant woman crossing a border with her husband, who isn't even the dad. Oh, gosh. And we're supposed to be happy that they're given a warm place to stay. Mm. It's bad enough primary schools have gone woke, but they're brainwashing children at Christmas. They've made Jesus' mum a refugee. It's nothing safe. You, you said this exact thing last year, Colin. It happened again. Which is proof that Sunak's disastrous policy on small boats isn't working. Frank Suella tried all she could. She really did. Well, you know, I don't think they had a floating barge in Bethlehem. The and that's the problem. The fighting age, of course. Well, he, he's eight. He's eight, Colin. You know, he's that beard's drawn on, I think. And it's, what uh, does Cottonwell. that say? I've mm. said to the school, I've told them, can you put a knife in the donkey before it leaves France in the first place? You right. know, deflate it. But they told me to take my concerns to Fiona Bruce for a more sympathetic ear. Things would be ten times worse under Labour. This would be yeah, ten, ten times, times worse times under Labour. Labour. Yep. Yvette Cooper would create a safe room in Brussels so donkeys could swarm over in their droves mm. and there'd be kids' murals on the walls to make Jesus feel welcome. Yeah. Won't schools need to remember that there's a time and place to learn compassion for those less fortunate and it's not Christmas. Mm. Anyway, mate, thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Have you got an advent calendar this year? Oh, yes. I made it myself. 24 oh. pictures of Penny Morden. Lovely. OK. Colin is in Portsmouth and he's on the line. Hello, Colin. I could weep, Anthony. I really could. And mm. my tears are for this country. What's happened, Colin? What are you mourning? I imagined something in my own head and it was terrifying. Did mm. you know mm. there's only seven white British people left in the whole of London? And if they don't breed tonight, then we'll be extinct in nine months' time. 
What, seven? That's an odd number. Who's missing out of the breeding, Colin? Jim bloody Davidson, as usual. Oh. And this yeah. extinction, it'll happen to the whole UK if we're not careful. Mm. Our British values are being chemically castrated and wow. it's people like you that are holding the scalpel. The chemical scalpel. What What are British values, by the way? I've never quite understood what it is that makes us British. What, what are British values? Yeah. It's obvious. I mean, where do we even start? Well, start by giving us one British value, Colin. I'll give you more than one, mate. I'll give you some. Okay. Demonising foreigners. Yeah. Breaking international law. Right. Changing our own laws to suit nobody except those in power. Mm -hmm. Eroding faith in our own institutions. Polluting yeah. waterways. Right. Undermining free press. Criminalising protest. Stabbing allies in the back. Removing striking rights and underfeeding children. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, nicking other countries' artefacts and refusing to give them back. This is what sets this great nation apart and I'll fight anyone who threatens it, including you. Well, it wouldn't start with me, mate. I've got a chemical scalpel. Oh, that's typical of the bloody left. That is always resorting to violence. You're anyway, right. mate, I love talking to you. Thanks for having me on. Love to the family. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Oh, and cricket. Yeah. Colin from Portsmouth is on the line. Hello, Colin. Hello, Anthony. I just yes. want to ring in and wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Oh, that's wonderful. Merry Christmas, yeah. Colin. Merry and Christmas Merry... to everyone. Yeah. Except Labour, the yeah. Left Dems, of the course, Greens, yeah. the Tories right. betraying our country over the Rwanda deal. You know uh -huh. who you are. The EU. Lefty lawyers. The people who ousted Boris. The people who made Suella sack herself. The people who didn't give Nadine a peerage. The right. thieves who pickpocketed Susan Hall's purse, then posted it back to her without taking anything from it. Yes, that James was terrible. James bleeding Brian, mm -hmm. Gary bloody Lineker, mm -hmm. Meghan Markle, Naga Munchetti, Carol Vorderman, Peter right. Reid, Brian Moore, the Archbishop of Canterbury, yes. King Prince Charles, Philip Schofield's home-wrecking lover, <laughs> Jeremy Vine cycling vigilantism, yeah. the people looking into Michelle Moni's finances, illegal immigrants, Legal immigrants, tourists, yeah. Mick Lynch, nurses and doctors holding our government to ransom, mm -hmm. anyone who tries to dismantle our precious NHS, and yeah. deck the National Trust, people who have robot vacuum cleaners, giraffes, what are they plotting up there? Yeah. Women who talk about men's football, Nordic walkers, people who own air fryers and make it their entire personality, 100%. Doctor Who for making Isaac Newton brown, right. clubs that serve food on anything other than a plate, that's George annoying, yeah. Monbio, Just Stop Oil, Heat Waves, Unisex Toilets, Cats yep. on Leads, Sinks with a separate hot and cold tap, VAR, oh. people mm -hmm. without washing up bowl in their sink, people mm -hmm. who don't sing the national anthem when they're forced to, and yep. LED light bulbs. Everyone else, you have a Merry Christmas and peace on earth to select mankind. Love to the family, Anthony. Love to the family, Colin. Love to the family. Quite Merry dance.